Well, we're still getting snow. It's about quarter to one in the morning. We're going to dig steel horse out a little bit. Yep. Keep the motor running, keep everything from from freezing. Yeah, we've got close to five right now, so don't know what the highway's got, but we'll, uh, we've already done our walk runs. Those are my footprints. <coughs> Excuse me, we'll get ready to get out of here pretty soon, but yeah, it's still snowing. Yep. So, yep. Pitta patta. Let's get out of. We'll see how far we get today. I'm not expecting too far. I'm just hoping to get out of Montana now. Because it looks like it's going to be pretty bad. Until I get on the other side of Billings, which is about a hundred and something miles. And then, uh,. And then it looks like it's just scattered snow all throughout the entire state. So, yep. All right, guys. I'm going to get in. Yeah, it's at least the four to five inches right now. So, all right, guys. On that, let's get it going. Let the adventures begin. Love you guys. I'm out. Well, let's get out of here. Break's over. Just took a break on the home stake pass. It's been a challenging day, to say the least. I had a uh, logging truck that I passed that... Um, called me on the radio and kind of let me know that they couldn't see anything off the back end of my trailer. None of the lights or anything. So that's to be expected. We're 318 miles into the day. And uh, it's kind of a powdery mess. It's a little slippery, but a powdery mess. And uh, so all my lights filled in so they couldn't see none of my none of my lights so decided to stop at the top of home steak pass take my break clean everything up knock a bunch of weight off and then uh, we'll stop in Missoula for fuel we're not making it to uh, Lind I'm, I'm hoping we can make it to uh, Ritzville if not, we'll be at the Sprague or somewhere between Sprague and Ritzville. There's another hole-in-the-wall truck stop that we uh, I've stayed at from time to time. So we'll we'll see where we get. We're supposed to have more snow when I get to Missoula, and uh, so we'll just see if we even get into into Washington. Plus, one of my bullet holes finally fragmented. So, Steel Horse is going to get a. Uh, She's going to get a new looking glass this weekend when I get back. If I don't um, get ticketed for it beforehand. So, yeah.
All right, guys. I'll get back to you when we're going down Homestake looking out over Butte, Montana. Well, there's beautiful Butte, Montana coming into focus a little bit there. Ouch. Yeah, those lights to your left is Butte, Montana coming in to coming into focus. This is commonly called Homestake Pass that we're coming down. Just thought you guys would like to uh, ride along. Steel horse is reading three degrees, which I think she's actually closer to zero. There's the lights. It's harder to see when there's uh, cloud cover, but that's Butte, Montana, everybody. And on that, as always, I get back to you. Well. I'd like to say it's daylight, but it is, but can't see anything. That is the Clark Fork River down there. We are still dealing with snow. I think we're going to run into an accident up here, I think. Uh, somebody was telling me. So, yeah, we're just taking it easy. I don't know if I'd want to be in a dually pickup truck in this. They don't track as nicely as a regular truck. Not normally. So. Yeah. Definitely kicking up a rooster tail with this load. I don't like doing that, but I can't go that slow. So, just that. But I thought I'd pop in here and just say, yeah, we're still, we're still fighting it. I don't know, we may have to throw iron uh, climbing over lookout today. I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. So, and there's the Clark Fork River.
Time to chain up. We gotta get up over. I'm a real trucker today. We gotta chain up going over. Uh, look out. Sorry for breathing hard, but uh, yeah. You guys ready to go over the top? Let's get into Idaho. All right, guys. Yeah, we're getting pretty good snow. All right, guys, catch you on the other side. Well, we have thrown iron. And we are climbing. Lookout Pass into Idaho. Doesn't make any sense. 
Because if they would just uh, see, like, cars didn't have no chains on it, but, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're climbing. We've thrown iron for the first time this year. If they just plow the darn thing, we would be uh, not so bad. Just saying, maybe it's just me. And I've been told possibly we might be throwing iron again to go over 4th of July if we can make it that far today. Yay. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go. I'll come back to you when we're uh, taking chains off. All right, guys. Catch you on the next. Yay. Well, we're done for the get day, gang. That's all we were able to get. Not too bad, considering I had to chain up today. So, we're sitting here. In, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Spokane, Washington at the Petro. Uh, yeah, she's, she's a little bit... Uh, Get a little dirty. So it's it's just kind of yeah. So hopefully going in Seattle tomorrow it'll. Uh, I apologize for the wind if there is any. I'm hoping with the microphone that it, it's supposed to be noise canceling. So hopefully that that helps a bunch. But I got dinner cooking in the crock pot. I already did my walk around. Um, beat on everything. Got as much off of it as I could. <laughs> as you can see, the debris underneath it. It's a little windy. We got sagebrush floating around in Spokane. Uh, We have a change of plan because I was not able to get uh, as far as I wanted to. <laughs> that duct tape will travel. That duct tape is holding. So, uh, no, we've already top my fluids off, washer fluid, all that. But, uh, no, we're going to go to Seattle first in the morning. And then, uh, look how dirty she is. Welcome to Montana. I love that. So, I mean, Southwest Airlines, Spokane Airport. Woohoo! I got me a neighbor. Hey, neighbor. Wouldn't you like to be my neighbor? So, well, we're going to climb inside. It's windy, it's cold, it's nasty. We're going to roll the cords up. And uh, we'll call this a day. We'll let my neighbor get in the hole. As you can see, yeah, one of my, one of my bullet holes, that one right there to be exact, because we have nice, lovely, cold weather um, and all that vibration, they finally took it out. So I was surprised Washington did not, uh, well, they didn't, they didn't pull me around the barn. They did 
two vehicles in front of me. So I thought that was kind of kind of nice of them to leave me alone. So, all right, guys. Well, we're going to roll the cords up. I'm going to do a little editing. Hopefully the sound is better on, on this, uh, on the headset when I can get it to work. Um, not like you guys need to see my ugly mug. So, um, yeah, so today was an eventful day. It was definitely an adventure with uh, chaining up and dealing with all of that and high winds and just almost all 654 miles today was under duress with the weather. So, all in all in a day, right? All right, guys. On that, God bless. I love you guys. Welcome to the channel. Subscribe if you already haven't. Give it a thumbs up if you like this. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Love you. I'm out.